want to welcome all of you to this evening's program. Uh, as we were discussing just outside, it's a particularly bleak and ominous day on which to have an event like this. So <coughs> this morning's news, not that it was unexpected, but nonetheless came as a chilling reminder that we don't take lessons from history in the end, right? We keep returning to the same mistakes, to the same kind of jingoisms uh, and whatever uh, that happens in the name. So, um, so I felt that it is a time once more to remember the past, the traumas, the divisions, the disruptions that 47 brought and then again 71 to this part of the world. Uh, I am of a generation that have actually lived through some of the wars of post-independence India, 62, 65, 71, and of course, much later. So it's on that note that all I will say is that this is a very incipient project still, but Ritu Padna Roy has been the the real, the thinking force behind it really. Uh, it was she who approached many of us with this idea. Uh, many of us are, uh, have our four partition families, if you may put it in a very broad way. We all have inherited memories of the event and there was a recent project called Inherited Memories, which the Goethe Institute conducted, uh, along with the CSSC where they followed three generations of memories of from grandparents to parents to a third generation, where the compulsion of not to forget has become very important. Just as at one time the difficulty of remembering was all over, the difficulties of talking, remembering, and certainly of memorializing something that was still so live, so raw, and so much a part of the present. So as scholars of partition always say, the partition is not a thing of the past. Its legacies continue, its resonances continue into the present. So, so in some ways, uh, I'll, I'll really hand it over to Ritu Pavna to tell us a bit more about how she's conceiving of the project of the museum. I'll only say that uh, we here, uh, I am here both as a member of the trust but also representing the institution where we are hosting this evening's program. Uh, many of you here have been here before, have been part of our programs. Uh, so this was the house of the historian Jodhana Charka, whose study many of you would have seen. And he's part of those, his life is very closely embroiled with those very dark days of 46, 47. Uh, his own son was killed in 1946 in the Great Calcutta killings. So he lost, that was one of the first losses in his family. And it's that son's son, his grandson, Colonel Shantar Sharkar, and his wife, Reva Sharkar, who provided us with some of the richest memories of Jodhunath's time in this house the use of this place, because when we took it over, when the center was founded here in 1973, uh, the house had already been sold to the state government and the center acquired it from them. So there was very little traces of what Jodhunath's life in this house would have been. So it's really his grandson, Chandra Shankar, who had this reconstruct a lot of that. And he is the son of this eldest son who lost his life in 46 and therefore Shantar Shankar grew up a lot in this house itself, was his father's demise. Uh, also just to say that we at the center have also been pursuing a particular train of partition studies. I am not one of the scholars who have uh, been doing so, but many of my colleagues have particularly, I am thinking of Manish Rai, uh, who has been an important scholar writing and thinking on partition and particularly partition as a remembered event through memory and oral history. Uh, we were also part of the Inherited Memories project. And so it's a great pleasure. And I also think quite 
uh, opposite that our inaugural event should be held in this venue. And I hope this will be the first of more events that we will be able to generate for this still very incipient body, which uh, has been given the name the Kolkata Partition Basin Trust. Uh, Ritu Panna will be speaking a bit more about how uh, she was conceiving it. But I also take this occasion to welcome the filmmaker Gautam Ghosh. It's a great honor to have him here with us this evening. Moinak also welcome. Moinak is an old friend and has been part of several events here. I think it will be a wonderful way of memorializing partition to have this conversation between them. Uh, and while, of course, Gautam Ghosh's films are very well known to many of you here, if not everyone, I'd also like to say that Moina Vishesh is also a filmmaker, apart from being a film study scholar. And his own film, debut film, Stanyo Shambhat, is directly about the memories of partition, or about the, what we may say, the aftermath of partition. It is set in a, what we will call a classic refugee colony, and it looks at the transforming life of the refugee colony. And it's certainly one of the I would say the most vivid and moving accounts that we have of that transforming life of food. So I think it's very apposite that we have Moinak today in conversation with Gautam Kosh to think about how filmmakers have thought about partition and what kinds of lessons and leads we may take from them as we begin to think about how we memorialize partition and whether at all partition can be maximized. I think it's a big if, whether we can, how effective we can be. So again, welcome to all of you. Over to you.